Okay, so I don't have anything on my skin right now. It's completely clean. So I'm gonna take this Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enrich Face Base. And this has shea butter, has tons of vitamins. And I really like this one because it's very emollient and it's gonna work really well under a powder foundation because sometimes powder foundations tend to look like powder on the skin. So I find that if I use a really nice, rich emollient cream underneath, my skin doesn't look dry, doesn't look cakey and cracked. So I'm just smoothing that all over the skin. It smells really good too. So I have combination to oily skin. I get really sort of oily in the T-zone area. Or maybe not so much oily, but I get a nice shine in the T-zone area. And then I'm a little bit dry here. And you can see I'm breaking out. Um, this is my hormones here. So hopefully this uh, foundation is gonna be really great with the salicylic acid to help with my breakouts. And then once I have that on, I wanna apply a primer. This is the Bobbi Brown Primer Plus Mattifier. And this controls shine and oil, blurs pores, and refreshes skin. So I'm taking a pea-sized amount of that for my whole face. And I'm just gonna concentrate that in the T-zone area where my pores tend to be larger and around my chin where I'm having some of this texture. Okay, and once I have that on the place, it's time for the foundation. So I tested a couple of shades in the store and this one was the best one for me. Some of the other ones are a little bit too cool or too gray or too dark. So this is Golden Nude 3.5 NW in the Bare Minerals Blemish Rescue Skin Clearing Loose Powder Foundation. So it says it has 0.5% salicylic acid. It's going to calm, clear, and cover. And uh, let's see, so on the side of the box, it says this lightweight full coverage foundation gently clears and prevents future breakouts with 0.5% salicylic acid and a blend of minerals for skin that looks and feels healthy. So there's oat protein that soothes and deeply nourishes. There's a moisture mineral complex that keeps skin hydrated. There's phytosphingosine. <laughs> Uh, which optimizes skin's defenses against bacteria. There's zinc that absorbs excess oil. There's sulfur to help exfoliate dead skin cells. Uh, kaolin clay uh, that helps purify pores and it's for all skin types. So I'm gonna open this up. And this is what the packaging looks like. So you get this sort of lid. It's very similar to the other Bare Minerals packaging. Uh, if you will so not much of a difference here so like any other bare minerals foundation I'm just gonna take off this little tab here and then bare minerals is all about swirl tap buff so I'm gonna try that first to see how I like that so I'm putting a generous amount just a good amount into the cap and then for my my brush I'm gonna take a mask 187s it's a dual fiber stippling brush but i like how light and airy it is so i think it's going to work really well to get me a nice light coverage that's going to help to build up so so i'm going to take the brush into the powder swirl tap and then let's buff it on so let's start in the chin area where i need more coverage And I'm just gently swirling it. So on the first go, I'm getting a really nice, light, sort of sheer coverage. It's also the brush, but I don't want to apply too much. Actually, before we do this, before we finish the rest of the face, I want to apply my concealer underneath the powder. I always forget about that step. So I'm taking the Tarte Creaseless Concealer, and this is in Tan Sand. And this is just gonna go here in the under eye area just to brighten up a bit. Since I don't wanna use the foundation all over under the eye, especially with the salicylic acid, but also because I like my skin to have some dimension. I don't want it to be the same shade all over. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this. And then just taking a beauty blender sponge just to tap that in, blend that in. So I like the way that looks. Now we can go back into blending everything in. So I'm just going to take 
what's left on the brush just to gently go over the concealer to blend that into the skin, making it look a little bit more seamless than this side, as you can tell. And then just really working into those areas where I need more coverage. Now, at first glance, I'm looking at my skin to my chest, and it's a little bit cooler than I would normally uh, use. But the next shade is a little bit too dark, and the shade above it is a little bit too light. So I think with a little bit of bronzing, like a warm bronzer, it'll it'll all match together. Okay, I'm just gonna take whatever's left on here and just perfect it, I guess. Uh, for, for the most part, I really love what this looks like. I love the coverage. It looks nice and flawless and smooth. So I think that looks really good. Let's do some bronzing and add a cheek color. So for bronzer, I'm taking Give Me Life bronzing powder. This is from the Mac. Mac Patrick Star Collection. It's a gorgeous, nice, warm bronzer. And I'm gonna take a Firma, 10, Firma Beauty 102 brush. It's a really nice, soft brush. And I'm just gonna take this onto the back of the cheek. And because it's powder on powder, it glides like effortless, like silk on the skin. And I really like that you can see like a slight luminous sheen to the foundation. It's not completely flat on the skin, which is really nice. It's not a matte, it's more of like a beautiful, natural, it's like a satin or a natural skin finish. It's really great. And let's do a little bit on the forehead to balance everything out. This is such a gorgeous bronzer. Need to put a little bit on the nose. And then I do want to add a little bit of a blush. So I'm taking this Hourglass Ambient Strobe Lighting Blush. And this is an iridescent flash. It's a really pretty sort of iridescent shade with some pink in it. So then I'm going to take a Laura Mercier. This is an angled cheek contour brush, but I like how small it is for blush. I'm just going to go on the very apples of the cheek. Small amount. I don't want to go too crazy with the brush. Let's also get a little bit of highlighting in. This is the MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter. It's all broken up. I need to get another, another one. It's well worn and loved. And I love this highlighter because it just gives you a really pretty sheen without any of the color. Does that make sense? I hate when highlighters have that like whiteness to it. This is more of like a nice glassy clear sheen. I also like to take a little bit that, of that on the tip of the nose. Down the bridge. I love it in this little center region here. Okay, so this is the look. This is pretty much what I kind of look like every day, but with this foundation. So I want to set it into place, and I'm using the Primer Plus Hydrating 3-in-1 Setting Spray from Bobbi Brown. Okay, so this is the look. I am gonna go out to an outdoor mall and I'm gonna be in the heat all day. So it's 11 o'clock right now and I'm gonna check back in around seven o'clock. So it'll give us like eight hours of wear time to really see what it looks like, how, it's, how it moves, how it sets, if it oxidizes. And then you guys can get a full idea about how I feel about the foundation. So I'm gonna head out and I'll check back in. There we go. So you can see the foundation. Um, it really has a, it's a great match for the rest of my skin. Not too shiny, not too oily. Still looks really nice and skin-like. Not too much creasing around here. And it's seven o'clock, well, 6.30. So it's been about six and a half hours. And it still looks really good.